Lost Railway Journeys from Around the World by Anthony Lambert. Now, um, I think something went wrong in my download when I was getting it from NetGalley because I only got um, the page setups and the images, not the actual written information. So on the written information side, I can't give a full um, review on. Um, but a lot of uh, but a lot of uh, the aspects of uh, the other book I could can give a review on. Um, so it's by continent. So Europe, Asia, Australia, the Americas, and Africa. Um, so you will have like the railway line or route of each like country or area um, that the author was likely talking about. And so you are getting um, photographs of either primary, a primary um, source of like if that railway being built or you're getting um, in, like drawing image <coughs> of like the track, railway, trains and whatever. Um, and you are getting like primary sources on a number of these um, railways. So, and like you are like pretty, like every page has at least two, three pages, if not more, of images along with the information. And um, like, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of writing in it, but it depends on like the font and everything. Um, so again, I can't really say for like the font and the content wise of like the information, but image wise and setup wise, very nicely set up. And really interesting for someone who likes trains, railways in any aspect, and it could be a good addition or introduction to rail routes, railway routes, um, and could be ideas if you are the type of person who wants to like do train travel, this could give you ideas of, oh, we can go this way, this way, or whatever. But yeah, Lost Railway Journeys from Around the World by Anthony Lambert. Happy readings.